look at the outer parts of a forest up in, in cold areas where we get a lot of weather and rain and ice and cold and understand the, the growth rings of an, a mature tree or a very mature tree and how that really is going to make beautiful, beautiful drums. I'm John Good, Senior VP of DW. This has been 46 years of my life. It turned into a passion. Everything for me was maple in the beginning. Maple, 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 and maple, I love maple. Let's try different materials. Let's try cherry, let's try walnut, let's try oak and gum and poplar. Let me make a drum set that's made with poplar, but it's made in plywood. What you do with plywood makes a good drum show. That's why I have to make my own. Put some reinforcing hoops in there, you know, that are a certain depth and a certain uh, ply thickness. When you play with all these variables, good Lord, you get so many different sounds, so many different possibilities. I recently came back from Tasmania. I came back with a wealth of unbelievable black heart sassafras from Tasmania, blackwood. I learned how cool blackwood really is. It's what you make ukuleles and guitars out of. So we're, now we're making all these drums. You know, if you look at my desk, it's a bloody mess. My wife says, why don't you clean this up? I'm gazing at, at, at uh, Jara wood. This is a, a burl from Australia. I, the other day I bought some of this. This is a candy stripe paduk, all right? Candy stripe paduk is so hard to find. This is what I call ivory ebony. And somebody looked at this piece of veneer and they said, my God, that looks like somebody painted that. And I said, yeah, somebody did. And his name is G-O-D. But I find the beauty in species that uh, you might not ever find. Part of what my wife has to deal with, she goes, okay, where are we going next? She's an adventurous woman. And Esther and I together make what the wood whisperer really is. So that's, that's kind of where that came from. And Neil Peart, of course, coined that phrase. We would sit and talk kind of like this. And he drank the Kool-Aid, so to speak. And um, he said, my God, you really, you really hunt for wood, don't you? And I said, yeah. And at that time, I was going to, I think it was, we were getting this wood from Romania and it was Romanian River Oak, and he fell in love with that story. You know, the Carpathian Mountains feed this Ulta River, and it flows down to the Danube and out to the Black Sea. And in doing that, some tragic events, wonderful events happened 1,500 years ago that took all these oak trees down, and they all fell into the riverbed. And they were digging out part of this uh, riverbed and they hit these what they called boulders but in getting underneath it and pulling it up my god these are oak trees that haven't seen the light of day no oxygen no sunlight or anything for 1500 years i mean they cut the end off did a carbon test that's what the truth of the matter was and the first beneficiary of that was neil peart and i put this kit together and he just like played it and played it and played it and he fell in love with it. You know, Neil's got such an incredible internal passion for drums and a clock for history. And once hearing w the 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 history of this of this tree and such, he says, "You really truly are a wood whisperer, aren't you?" And I go, "I guess so." And uh, so I'm surrounded by people who who love being part of wood hunting and the next thing and the paintings that G.O.D. did himself.